Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening. This is your ever-lovable host, Shadowblade730. And, uh, yeah, let's go continue to go explore and find some more secret seashells and other items. I'll head up here first. Alright, uh, I'm gonna head all the way to the right. All the way, out, all the, way to the left first. Um, won't be able to get up there right now. Um, that's for a little later in the game. But first things first, I do want to bomb this wall real quick. For another secret passageway. Don't think there's not much we can do right now here, but I do want to open it up. Take a look. See what's down here. Whoa, it's a flamethrower. Yeah, I need a certain um, protective item to get through that, and we're going to fall through the hole. Well, at least it's an easy way to get to the front. Oh, well. All right. <clears throat> now, let's, now let's head more... Um, Westward Ho to find a piece of heart. Yeah. That's four, so another full heart container up. Very nice. Up to 31 seashells. <clears throat> Kill some enemies here. All right, hop across, and that should take us back to the woods. Oh, oh, oh. that hurt. <laughs> okay, puts us here. Um. Kill this moblin first. Oh, come on! Oh, dead. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on, gotta actually access it. Let's hit a little warp action. Use our mumbo, mumbo, mumbo. Let's see, go over to. Yep, Seashell Manson. I want to get our third prize. Now, um, I do believe the treasures go five, ten, thirty. And then 40. Now, and like I said, in the Game Boy version, you want to go, as soon as you get those amount of secret seashells, you want to head immediately back over here. Because if you don't, you can miss prizes, and it just becomes a big mess. So, once you hit those those um peaks, that's when you go over here and get your power-ups. If you don't, you can miss them. So, you don't want to do that. But for acquiring 30 seashells, we get uh, a chamber piece. Right. I do need to go back and do a lot of those... um. Build the dungeons and dumpies. I just it is really, you know, it's not that it's not fun. It's really interesting to build your own dungeons and go through them, and you can get some really good treasure for doing it. Which, like I said, I really need to. Just it takes a lot of time, and I really do need to do more research on how to build those dungeons because the later ones can be really kind of tricky to actually build. But first things first, let's acquire some more treasure. All right, over here back to Animal Village. Okay. <laughs> Hook that across. I do know there's a secret seashell over here that I'm missing. It's right here. Well, actually not right here. Technically right here, but <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. I wanna go into this cave over here because I remember that I had some kind of issue with actually getting the treasure here, but now that I have all my power-ups, should be able to collect it. Yep. Push you out of the way. Stun you with a hookshot, hop across, knock you over, head over here, kill these keys. Now remember, since that block has cracks on it, we should be able to bomb it. So select our bomb, pick it up, toss it, oh, hope I didn't throw it too far. Uh, okay, good enough, good enough. Now we have to go back. Oh, excuse me. Man, this cold I've been having is, does not want to go away. Uh, avoid the sparky, avoid the little shell, shelter. <laughs> now that we have that, yep, we can just do that. Hook shot across and get another piece of heart. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Oh, really good. I apologize that this, this video, this episode is going to be a little short. <laughs> I know I apologize a lot. But yeah, I just really wanted to get ended on a certain point. <laughs> You'll see, viewers. You'll see. Something I actually been thinking about how I'm gonna accomplish. Actually, I accomplished in this episode, so I was really happy how this turned out. All right, head down here. And like I said, there is a secret seashell here. I just can't figure out how to get it. Am I supposed to dig here? All right. For some reason it's just not working. Okay, can't dig those. Do I have to throw a bomb somewhere? Or something? I don't know. Alright. 
Nothing here. Well, try, try throwing a bomb here. Oh, I guess you can't throw a bomb there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to do my research probably get it back on my next episode, but... Like I, said, I don't know everything about this game. I've played it a lot, though. I'm surprised I can't remember how to get that dadgum secret seashell. <laughs> so I know it's around here. It's like, do I have to dig up here? I don't know. It's just not agreeing with me, so... You know what? The heck with it. I'm just going to head up here. And see if there's anything else we can do. Uh, I don't want to waste too much of you guys' time. Uh, maybe we can dig? I don't know. Can't dig there, of course. Alright. Uh, try bombing again. Maybe if I bomb from this area. Oh. Oh, okay. That didn't work. Oh well. At least I'll get some free rupees out of it. You know what? I'm going to do my research. And say, you know what the heck with all this? I'll find out for later. I will get that secret seashell, though. Don't worry about that, viewers. <laughs> oh, man. This could be a good episode. <laughs> Already messing up. <clears throat> uh, today was just not my day. <laughs> oh, well. First things first. Let's head up over here. Oh. 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 And this way, we'll, we'll progress the plot a little bit in this episode. I figure I've taken a couple turn, a couple episodes, kind of do some side quests. Let's progress a little bit with Owl. Mr. Owl, two shrines, one to the north, other to the south. First, head to the south, where runes speak about the windfish. Oh. So I wonder what these runes have to say. Hopefully there's some good news. I mean, we could use all the good news we can get. I mean, is the, the, the windfish a nice entity, and will it give us, um, you know, a good little power-up and bring us back to Hyrule? I mean, I'm assuming, assuming it's a fish, but first let's get it piece of power. And if it's a fish, it could just bring us to Hyrule, I mean, swim us across the ocean. First things first, whoa, armor statues, holy crap. Now, armor statues, not that tough. What we'll do is, okay, let's see, our swords don't work on them, none of our weapons work on them, but you know what does work on them? Arrows. So, what you want to do is awaken the armor statues, back up, and just hit them with an arrow. And you should be good to go. The good thing is they always drop arrows, so... Yeah, swords don't work on them whatsoever, but arrows do. I like how their shields kind of remind me of Lego shields. <laughs> first things first, yeah. I do want to um, kill as many of these armor statues as you can get, because I believe there's a way you can actually get a certain power-up if you kill all of them, but I could be wrong. I could just be daydreaming. So it's over here. Does any of these wake up? Oh, you wake up. Okay. Good thing about this game is you guys should shoot your arrows diagonally. Get our arrows back. Another reason I wanted to go get that one power up to um, increase my number of arrows, because like I said you do go through a lot of arrows in this area. And killing all these daggum armor statues. Because there are you don't have to kill all of them, but there's a certain number of them you do have to kill to actually progress and get through the area. Because they do block um, ways. Here, Let's see if there's anything you can get here. Oh, there's a guardian unicorn. I'm not gonna worry about that. I don't think we need that right now. Kill that armor statue. Oh, there's another armor statue. Shoot it all Robin Hood like. Yeah, can't go that way just yet. What you want to do is go over here, kill these slimes, awaken that armor statue, kill the arrow, get another arrow to replace it. All right, there's another armor statue, kill the armor statue. Trying to hit the armor statue, not the slime, but okay. Like I said, you have to wake this one up. Move him out of the way. Throw him with the arrow. Kill the slimes. Wake in this armor statue. And we should have access to the shrine. The silver monkey knows. I don't think I actually call it. I just call it shrine of the windfish. Or the armor shrine. You can call it either one. Let's see what it's actually called here. It is called. Um. Yeah, there's no actual name for it. I like how they actually give you arrows, but arrows really don't do anything against this boss, so, yeah. For boss battle time against the Mega Armor Knight! Now, this guy could be really tricky. You'd think you, they, they give you arrows, that arrows would be effective against them, and they're really not. Also in this first, uh, this boss, uh, like I said, I will do accomplish one thing that I didn't know how I was going to accomplish it. 
Let's see, maybe, uh, let's see, arrows, I mean, come on, you used arrows, so nope, arrows really don't work. So how am I supposed to hit this guy? Let's see if I can get behind him. Nope. Ding, pow. <laughs> nope, that doesn't work. Let's see what else I can try. I'm gonna kind of try and stay away from as much as you can, but like I said, it's not a very big, not very big room. Maybe I can hook shot him on. Nope, that doesn't work. Ah, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Maybe bombing him. Drop a bomb. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Maybe I could bomb arrow him. Hmm. I never, I never, I never showcase how bomb arrows work. You have to equip bombs and you know, your arrows at the same time. Yeah, you can actually shoot an explosive arrow just like Rambo. It's really cool. But unfortunately, that doesn't work either. Let's try it one more time. I hope we don't kill ourselves. All right. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I do want you do want your rocks, rather kind of. Because like I said if you jump and are in the air whenever he actually hits the ground, yeah, you're not really. Fun. Yep, as you're telling, as you're seeing, none of my attacks are really working here. Oh, that worked. Okay. Yeah, that's actually tricky. You want to charge your sword up? It's kind of tricky. Because yeah, he's coming after you. This may be one of the trickier enemies in the game. Because you have to have your sword charged and around him, and whenever you're around him and toward his back, um, you let loose your sword charge and you'll actually damage him. Yep, I'm almost dead. I actually wanted to achieve one death because I want to use up that potion that I bought from Secret Sally. Because there's one you can actually acquire the treasure, and if you have a secret potion while you access that treasure, you can't collect all the items in the game. So yeah, it's not much, but yeah, I do want to get 100% on that if I can. Oh, well, at least we got the shield out of the way. Oh, Let's see if I can get our one death. The thing is, I don't think I'll be able to get the, the perfect ending, though. If I don't, I'll make a separate episode of... Oh! Cracked his head there. Yep, there's our first... I guess, death. I don't know if it actually counts, though. It may count. If I don't get the best ending, you know, I'll go around and get it. I'll showcase it. Yep! We finally defeated the Mega Armos Knight! And get a key. What kind of key is that? We get... The face key to open the face dungeon. I think they could have came up with a better name than the face dungeon, but wait up. It's all dark here. Alright, let's get our magic power up. Light some torches, and hey, there's a big mosaic here. Let's check it out. To the finder, the Isle of Colant is but an illusion. Human monsters see sky, a scene on the lid of a spider's eye. Awake the dreamer, and Colant will vanish much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away, you should know the truth. Wait, so all this is of just a big illusion? What kind of Lovecraftian crap is this? Find out next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening! This is your ever-lovable host, Shadowblade730. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, maybe throw in a comment or two. And I will see you all next adventure. Goodbye.